gotten a number of questions about using the air fryer mode on the uh, Emerald Lugazi Power Air Fryer 360 without using the basket tray, the uh, air frying basket. So whereas normally a basket would be placed right here in the air fry uh, level and hang down below, this wouldn't be here, it would look like that. The answer is you can use just the tray in the air fryer mode without the basket. You can use the air fryer mode without the basket. But here's what I do. Instead of using it on the regular air fry uh, level, which is normally number two, you're gonna drop that wire rack down one notch and you're gonna place your baking tray here. And so that way you're gonna capture most of the air that's coming out of here. And if you can see in the far back, uh, let me move this. There's gonna be some space here where I can have my hand. So air will flow underneath because in part, if you see under there below, there's still the, uh, the fan here. Air will go from underneath, it will flow here. It's not gonna be the same as when you use an air fry basket where food is gonna get fried in all directions from underneath, from the top, from the sides. Uh, but the reason we're gonna do this is because it's a lot less messy and I'm gonna make chicken wings today. I bought them already pre-made or pre-gussied uh, uh, up. <laughs> uh, it's got the sauce on there already. And so uh, that just wouldn't be uh, practical to try to use the air basket. There are those times when you're just cooking something, whether it's a uh, baked chicken or anything that can either splatter, fall, crumble, uh, pieces falling down, even with a secondary baked tr baking tray as a uh, secondary drip tray. Uh, or the baking tray as a secondary drip tray, you're still gonna have a, a bit of a cleanup. And so sometimes you, you just not in it, you don't want the basket, you don't wanna deal with the hassle. It's just easier to place everything on a tray the same way you would do in a conventional oven, but use the air fry mode. So I'm gonna show you how that works, that it comes out uh, almost just as well, not quite the same because again, you're not getting underneath. The trick, if you really want the underneath part done as well, uh, air fried, you can flip whatever you're cooking over or rotate, it's easy enough. I'm gonna cook these wings without rotating it just to show you what they come out like. Um, as far as the aluminum foil on here, um, I go into that in, in, in great detail in, in a couple of my other videos. If you look at the inside, yep, it's clean, even though I make saws that I've been using this for years. Um, I have a separate video on how to clean the inside of the emerald. It's a, it's a pain point for a lot of people, but uh, it can be done and look, looks brand new. As far as the shine on the outside, I've got another video on that. Uh, it took me a year to find the right product, but I did. And I've shared that with everybody. So let me get to the uh, buffalo wings and we will be back. Okay, so here are the wings. You can see the sauce has already been on them. I bought them from the store like this, pre-marinated. Um, and that's why it's just not practical. If I put these on the um, on the basket, it'll hard. You know, the sauce will harden on there. It'll just be a disaster. It'll start dripping everywhere. Um, hopefully, this should be a, a much cleaner and easier process. So these are going in like that. As you can see, we got the uh, blower here. Should should work fine. I've done this before although not with chicken wings. So that for that reason, um, I'm setting it to 375. I'm putting it for 45 minutes. I probably don't need 45 minutes, but we'll see uh, just in case. And as you know, it's very easy to add if you need time. So let's get started. And uh, we'll come back at the 20 minute mark. All right, so you can see I overshot my halfway mark. It's almost uh, 30 minutes into it. And um, these are progressing very nicely. Steam um, starting to get crispy on the outside. These are not done yet. I want them a bit crispier. That light on for you again. Uh, so I'm going to keep letting this go, um, maybe even the whole way, uh, certainly another 10 minutes, and I will uh, check back with you guys. So you can see I just stopped it shy of 10 minutes, so it's about 35 minutes total cooking time. I'm going to take these out and show you what we got. So here we are, it came out nice and crispy, plump. These are honey. Uh, wings are honey um, buffalo wings. I've never had it with the honey, but some of that dark uh, black that you're seeing is not burnt. That's just the caramelized honey, the sugar or the sugar from the honey. Um, if you want, you can easily flip these over, uh, start to do the other side. In fact, I might do that. If you don't want the hassle, you can just leave them as they are, uh, nice and crispy on top. But certainly that is the difference between using the air fry basket. The air fry basket, they will get a little bit more crispy on the bottom without having to flip them over. It's uh, the full air fryer experience. But um, as I said, if you have sauces, if you have stuff that's crumbs or stuff that's gonna drip, 
Uh, this is a much easier solution and it definitely works. So I'm gonna throw these back in. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this at all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe down below and be sure to check out the other videos on cleaning the inside and cooking some other great food inside the Emerald Air Fryer. Thanks for joining me.